Hello everyone, Zach from SkippyZ here. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to replace sounds in Terraria. With this, you'll be able to change any sound that you like to something else. For example, you can eat this steak, like it's Minecraft. Or, with a fart in the jar, you can do this. Glad to have that one out. So, for this tutorial, I'll be replacing this sound right here, which is from the Dark Rifle. So, let's get started. Step 1. Setting up the resource pack if you haven't done it yet. So for this tutorial, we'll require an already set up resource pack, but if you still haven't yet, I'll be briefly showing you the steps on how to set up a resource pack. So first in the menu, go to workshop, then use resource packs. And after that, just go to open resource folder. And you should see this right here. And the next thing you should do is just right click on empty space, new, then folder. After that, just rename the folder to anything you want. So I'll just call mine, my resource pack. After that, just double click to open it and then do the same thing, new folder. But this time, make sure it is named content. That's where all of the stuff will go. And the next thing you should do is just right click on empty space, new, but this time, text document. Now make sure you just name it pack in lowercase. And this time we need a JSON file, but for this one we need a pack.json file, but this one's a text file. So what we can do is just go to view and then make sure this is on. If it's still not on, then you can just click it and it should be looking like that. And then after that, you can just rename this file and change that txt to JSON. If this shows up, just press yes. After that, we now have our pack.json file. The next thing you should do is just double click on the file. And here we are. I'm using Notepad++ to edit this file, but you can use a different program that can edit JSON files. And the next thing you should do is just put this entire script right here. And it has to exactly look like this, except what you can change is this right here for the pack name, the author name, and the description of this pack. And also you can also change the major and minor on the version part right here. And you can just control S and exit. And there we go, the pack will now appear and function in game. An optional step that you can do, which I suggest you do, is add an icon. So I'm just gonna put this right here and this will be the icon that will appear in the pack in the browser. Just make sure it is named icon in lowercase and I recommend you use the PNG file format. And there we are, the pack is now all set up. For more detailed information, I have a video all about setting up a resource pack that you can check out down in the description below. So let us proceed. Step 2, adding the sounds folder. So first, go to the content folder, and then right click on empty blank space, go to new, and then folder. Make sure this one is named sounds. And what this folder is all about is basically where all the sounds are going to be stored in. So I'm just gonna double click in it, and of course it's empty. And for now, I'll be putting the sound right here. And by the way, the sound sounds like this. Step 3, renaming the file to the correct sound ID. Now we need to rename it to the correct sound ID, to the desired sound you want to replace. Now, how do we find the correct sound ID? I can show you where you can refer to for finding the sound ID that you need. I will link all of them down the description below. The Terraria Wiki Sound Effects So this is the part of the wiki that is found in the category page. For easier access, I will just link it in the description down below. Alternatively, you can just search Terraria sound effects, which is how I found this very part of the wiki. So around here, you can try and look around for the sound you want to replace by playing just playing the files, kind of like this one. So yeah, that's how you can do it in this part. It's mostly going to take a while doing this, but once you found it, you can just rename the file in your pack with the right sound ID. Make sure you add an underscore in the spaces. The sounds resource Terraria Everything. This one is similar to the wiki page, although this one is what I'd say is more of an offline alternative. So what you simply do here is just download these files, you can just press this button right here, which is basically every single sound effect from Terraria. Now since I already have all of the sound effects with me from that very zip file, um, I will be showing you what it looks like. Basically this is every single sound effect from the game. This one is pretty similar to the wiki, but personally I feel like it's a little more easier to use so you can just scroll all of the sounds. Instead in the wiki, you use something like this, like using next page or previous pages, which may probably be not that quick or something. Terraria forums. 
Dust and Sound Catalog 2. Now this one isn't really something you can use looking for IDs directly, but for me, it did help to locate sounds much easier from using the first two sources I mentioned. Although this one, from what I can tell, does not list any sounds from 1.4 and above. And to see what I mean here, you can just click this and you can pretty much see the sound and stuff here. Like here is a specific, is the group of items and stuff. This one's for like enemy, enemies or NPCs being hit. This one's kill sounds and etc. they can find from here. Now this is all of the sources that I know of that can help you with finding a certain sound ID that you'll need. So the sound effect that I'll be replacing is named item number 99, item underscore 99. And for your information what item number 9 is, and you just looked up item and this is what nine, item number 99 sounds like. And that's pretty much the sound effect that's basically used by the, the dart rifle. Now that I finished renaming my sound to the right sound ID, the next thing you can do is Step 4. Converting your file from an audio file into a .xnb file. Now that you've found the right sound ID and renamed your file to that, we now have to convert it to a .xmb file, which is the file format I'd assume is what Terra uses for sound effects. Now, how do you convert from an audio file to a .xnb file? I'll show you a tool that you can use to convert files to .xnb for Terraria. So what we have here is a tool named tconvert. I'm here on its Terraria forum page right here. With this tool, you can convert your desired files into .xnb. It also has another feature where you can extract files from the game, but we're not here for that. So down here, you can go to the downloads and choose which version you want to download. I recommend you choose the one with the main UI based executable up here. As with the UI, it's going to be easier to use. But it's also your choice if you want to use the pure terminal version. But for this tutorial, I'll be using the main UI based executable. Now I have it right here on my desktop ready to be used. So I'll just open it. So most likely what you'd first see is the extract options are being presented here. But we're not here to extract anything. So we're just gonna press convert which is right next to it. And then this here are the convert options. So let me show it around. So this is the convert mode. You can choose either folder or file. Now what folder does is it will convert all of the files in the folder that you set it on. And this button called use Terraria does is just it will have all of the converted files go into the Terraria folder. But we are not going to use that. And for the other convert mode which is file, what file does is you choose a specific file that you wish to convert. And then what this convert button does is simple as that, converts the file to an XMB. What input file does is it will set the destination or file that will be converting and then what this button here which looks like a folder is when you press it you can just browse to find a specific folder or file. So I'm pretty much going to use this and simply locate my file. And right here I have now found my file so I'll just double click it and there we go we're ready now. And then what the next thing is output file. It's pretty much the same thing as the input file but in this one it's going to be where the converted file will end up. In this case I can actually just copy paste this entire um, path and just put it here and it's going to output in the same exact place. So you can just now press convert and we're finished. And now once we look in the folder and now as you see here we have a new file it's item99.xmb. Now this is the file we are pretty much requiring. And this one you can either just leave it in here or just take it away. I'm just gonna remove it and put it like right here. And there we go. Now with this it should be able to now work and function in game. Now before we go into a world and test out the pack if it works or not, make sure you go to the workshop, use resource packs and check if it's enabled or not. So I'm just gonna scroll down here and as you can see this is the resource pack right here. It has everything that we put in the JSON and everything. And just click that button and it should now enable it. Now just go back and I'm gonna go in my world now. So I'm back in my world and I'm going to test it out if the sound works or not. And there we go. The sound is completely different now. And we're pretty much done actually. So this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys learned something from this and also very much that it helped you. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you like this video, you can leave a like and if you want to see more tutorials or content from me, click that subscribe button and also ring the bell. And if you got feedback or any comments about this video, please leave them in the comment section down below. 
And if you got any problems with your research packs or anything, feel free to comment about it in the comment section down below also and I will try to help you with the best of what I can do. So anyways, thank you again for watching and see ya in the next videos. Goodbye!